we, we grew up in Luton as a huge Asian, a huge Asian diaspora, I guess. Lots of Indians, lots of Pakistanis, lots of Sikhs, lots of Muslims. And these people work as a team. It's the, one of the reasons they outcompete British people, native British people in almost every single metric. And we knew a guy named Bali. I hope Andrew hasn't told you this. No. So he had a, he was a lawyer, probably 50,000 pounds a year. And he drove a $400,000 Ferrari, a 400,000 pound Ferrari. And a 500,000 pound Rolls Royce sometimes. And we were saying like, do you think Bali's a drug dealer? What do you think he's up to? And me and Andrew at the time, you know, had quite a close brotherhood. And he looked at us one day and said, Bali, how do you have all this money? How do you get these fancy cars when you're just a, a lawyer? And you're relatively young. He was like 26, 27, about five or six years older than I was at the time. And Bali's exact answer was, I remember he said, you white people are stupid. Now I'm mixed race. He wasn't talking anything racial. He was talking about, I guess, native British people. He says, you will have five sons, or your father may have five sons, which for someone in my culture, he was a Sikh, an Indian Sikh from Punjab. He said, that's a jackpot. And this Englishman's five sons will all move out of the family home. They'll pay five rents, probably to people like me. They'll take five different student debts out, go on five different career paths. They'll, they'll, they'll set up, they'll get five different mortgages, marry five different women, and never see each other again. You see, my father had five sons. Now I'm a lawyer, my, my brother's a dentist, my father's an engineer, my other brother owns a construction company. One of the, and every single skill set that they needed to, to flourish was within the household. So we all live in the family home. We pool our resources. Our women work together and prepare food for us. We work, uh, and, and every, every time that we have uh, new children, the family is expanded, we just expand the house. My brother owns a construction company. And that, and that way, as a group, we have three Toyotas, one Ferrari, and one Rolls Royce. And we can all use them anytime we like. And that was what introduced me and Andrew, because we were flat broke at the time. We had nothing to share. Uh, to the idea of, of certainly, you know what? If we can buy a supercar together, one nice car, then we can just share that car. And now, thanks to his car addiction, we have, I don't know, 40 plus, <laughs> minus the 10 or 11 that have been temporarily seized by the Romanian <laughs> government. But um, yeah, it introduced us, I guess, to the concept of pooling your resources and sharing. And you know what? He's 100% right. That is a lesson you can learn from the Indians, from the Pakistanis, because it's benefited us massively. And 